Today I needed to do a very quick um, fabric haul, fabric stash, because I want to crack on and start cutting on all these beautiful wools and uh, I thought I, I really need to share this with you first. So if you're up for that, please stick around. I got all of these uh, beautiful fabrics from a thrift store, believe you me or not. These are beautiful uh, remnants that I think they came up from a shop in Germany. This uh, thrift store um, tend to buy stuff from uh, old stock from companies that go busted or whatever, which is sad, but I get some beautiful stuff. And uh, I've been buying them for a couple of years now. Um, this is one of the stash I have. I have a, a little bit more. But these are the pieces I've chosen to make tunics with. So I wanted to share with you um, each piece and talk about them first. Okay, so the first one is a beautiful dark brown wool. And um, it is a fairly thick fabric. And it's 100% wool. And it is made out of um, some grey and brown threads. The feel is not the softest, but it is, um, yeah, it's not so soft against your skin, but it's obviously an outer um, kind of fabric. It's a beautiful wool, and uh, I think I have enough to make a tunic. So that's the first piece. The second one is this beautiful light brown almost golden wool. This is much softer. Um, the label here says it's 2.6 meters and it's 100% wool. Um, it is much softer, a little bit thinner than the other one and again it has these beautiful um, colors going through. This will be an amazing uh, tunic that I'm gonna make as well. So the next one is this unbelievable, this is probably one of my favorite ones. This is gray and blue. Um, and I think this one was one of the ones that had the, um, no, it says 1.8 meters and also uh, wool, 100% wool. Um, not as thick as the first one, but it's still a very nice weight and uh, it will make a beautiful item. The quality of these fabrics uh, is amazing, it really is. Right, the next one is this beautiful black with uh, pink and white coming through it. This is one of the very few ones that is uh, a mix of wool and uh, acrylic. It says it's 25% wool 75% poly and you can feel it. it, it's not as heavy, it's much softer, it's not as heavy but it is also a really interesting um, fabric and it will make a very nice uh, tunic. Right, the next one is this beautiful blue, light blue and grey and uh, I haven't got much of this one uh, but this is 100% wool. I'm gonna try to see if, oh, I've already cut. I've made something. I think it was a, a, a pouch. So there's not much fabric in here. I might have to combine this one with another one, which is okay, because this is a beautiful fabric. Yeah, okay. I'll fold the nice light later. Right, so this is, uh, uh, again, uh, I think this is a combination of wool and uh, acrylic. Uh, thinner, it's a little bit thinner. Um, on camera it comes much brighter than it is. It's quite a nice bright colour but not this tomato that it seems to be in the camera. It's much softer but you can feel it, it is either 100% wool or very very close to 100% wool. This one I'm really upset because I don't have much of. Um, I might combine it with either blue or maybe with a brown. Uh, it's like an aqua, um, beautiful aqua teal. I'm not sure how to 
describe this color uh, malted with black. Um, this is 100% wool, much thinner, um, but it's an amazing quality. I see how much it is on there, but I don't think there's much. You can see this uh, a much smaller piece. Still beautiful, it's still I will use it. Now, this is like a shirting kind of, uh, or suiting, sorry, suiting type of wool. It still has the uh, old <laughs> um, papers. It says that it is, it just says the price, 13 euros. I don't know what it is. This has a nice drape. It's nice and light, uh, much cooler. So it makes me feel like um, it might have uh, some kind of uh, uh, mixture with either cotton or uh, viscose. It has that feel, that feel really for viscose. Uh, this is a beautiful, I might not make a tunic with this one, I might make a skirt or even a dress, because this is uh, beautiful. <laughs> I keep on saying, but the, the quality of this fabric is amazing. Another piece that I'm a little upset is only a little piece. Um, it says six meters. I doubt it. <laughs> maybe, a, maybe, yeah, <laughs> it's a barely one. Um, yeah, barely a meter. Uh, yeah, maybe before it was cut off. Uh, this is just a remnant, but it is. Uh, it has a lot of uh, grays and blue and black. It's, it's, it's quite stunning. Super soft. Again, quite beautiful. Um, I think I will probably make um, a tunic with this one. Yeah, this is gorgeous. Right, another lightweight, another small piece. So sad. I wish it was more. But enough to make something. I think it's about a meter again, yeah. Uh, again, a lighter suiting type. Um, this will look stunning. It says... 18 euro and 0 0.7, 0 0.7 of a meter, so not much. Uh, I might combine it. I have a, a think about how to combine it with um, the rest of the um, fabrics to make something with it. Oh, it's gorgeous. Another little remnant, not a lot left. Um, I already used this one already because I love it. Um, very little left. Um, I might need to patchwork this one to make something with. Um, but the colors are just amazing, amazing colors. Gorgeous. Right, this one, I'm very lucky. This one is 100% wool and it says it's 1.6 meters. I actually think there's more in here. Maybe, maybe. Um, it's a, again sh shirting type, um, brown with a little um, speckles of white, uh, very, very soft. Um, and the salvage says something, I'm not 100% sure. Made in Italy, okay. So I have this piece and then I have a smaller piece. Um, this could be easily used for um, either a side or a scarf, um, sorry, uh, sleeves or something. So I will combine them together and make something nice with it. Right, I'm gonna put it like that. Okay, so now we're going to another lightweight. Uh, this one is definitely a mixture of wool and um, viscose. Uh, it has a medium weight, it's not super light, it's not uh, heavy, uh, it's a medium weight, um, maybe kind of suiting again. Um, i definitely going to put it together with colours and see what can come up. Um, it's a it's an odd piece, uh, so <laughs> we'll see how we combine it. Right, this one... I know it's two meters because I got it from the roll, from the bolt. There weren't that many left and the, the thrift store person allowed us to cut a few meters instead of having to buy the whole bolt. So I know it's two meters. This is beautiful because it has a lot of tiny little colors 
of a speckle. It has a blue, green, red, absolutely stunning. Um, I bought this originally thinking of making a coat for myself. And I might still do that. <laughs> I might still um, look for a nice pattern to make a coat with it. This is absolutely gorgeous and uh, I'm very happy to have it on my stash. Again, another small piece, another small beautiful wool uh, remnant. Um, not a lot, but absolutely gorgeous. 100% wool for sure. A moss color with reds and grays. Absolutely gorgeous. <laughs> It's a shame, this, this one I'm very, very sad that it's only this a little bit, but I will make it justice. I will make something beautiful with it. I will have to either make a, something small or combine it again. Gorgeous fabrics. And the last one for today, I have a few more, but for today, the last one is this one. This. I, if I'm not mistaken, it's also two meters. Yeah, it looks like it could be two meters. Also a speckle in a gray, um, bl um, sorry, cream, and it has all these colors coming through. This is a beautiful um, fabric, uh, super soft, and um, this will make a, a tunic, a coat, a skirt. Oh my God, it will make anything. I just love the little details on the fabric. Um, yeah, so I wanted to start chopping these fabrics and doing something with them. And I thought maybe you enjoy seeing uh, my little cute, beautiful stash before I do that. And the reason why, let me move them away. The reason why, <laughs> there we go. The reason why I wanted to do this is because I have been using this poncho tunic style in the summer for a few years now and uh, it is super comfortable, super easy to wear, you wear with anything at the bottom, anything, super easy to wear and it's a very comfortable top and I thought wouldn't that be awesome to make like a wool tunic out of it? So as I was going through my fabrics I was trying to choose which one to make the first one with and then the, the idea for this video came out. Um, I'm really not sure which one to start with. Um, I love them all um, don't have a plan for everything but I'm gonna be going into trying to make a dent on all these beautiful fabrics soon. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please come up for to see what I did with them and um, I'm definitely gonna try that to get a pattern out of this and make a tunic out of one of these fabrics. So I hope you enjoy it and I come back to see what I made with them. So until next time, bye!